Saturday 6th of June 2015, this young cat was brought in yesterday because the owner complained that he has fever, very high fever and it was true. It's over 40 degrees centigrade. Now on examination, we will check the eyes first. Okay, come we check the eyes. Now you can notice that this cat has a dermoid. Now a dermoid is referring to a cornea growth with hairs. That's called a dermoid which is shown on this video. And uh, normally this is from young, it has got it from young, you can see there. And uh, the treatment is by surgery to cut off the dermoid from the cornea, including the hairs. Now, pterygium is different from a dermoid. A pterygium is also a white covering on the cornea, but the pterygium does not have hairs. Okay, now we look at the other eye. Now you can see the other eye is a normal eye. And you see the cornea, open eye bigger. Cornea is, is clear, further down. And you can see there's no white growth on the surface of the cornea compared to okay, the other eye. You can see that, uh, you can see that there is the hair and the, the white white uh, growth on the corneal surface starting from the sclera now this case is very good otherwise it wouldn't allow us to to see so the treatment of this is actually under anesthetic scrape off or called keratectomy scrape off the white growth on on the corneal surface so that the, the cat can see clearer and uh, it's called keratectomy. Uh, this is the treatment for this case and it's quite effective. Okay, now we check the other condition of the eye, the mouth. Now this young cat also has retained kitten canine teeth. The upper one open bigger. And then below, we check the lower one. The lower gum also, yeah. Does it have it below as well? No. Below looks okay. Now. To open the cat's mouth, this one is, should be quite easy. Lift up the, the lift up the side of course. Otherwise, we, we want to look at the side, and then the lower lower side as well to see whether there's any retained canine teeth or not. But you can't see because it, it, you you didn't open up open up the mouth. Normally, what you do is you grip the you grip like this and just grip the top and open the bottom. Yeah, uh, correct, correct. Grip. Uh, now you can see very clearly that the lower lower canine is okay. On the left side, only the upper canine, the sharp, thin, sharp one, is a retained puppy too. Okay, now you see the other side. Also the same. Uh, just lift up the the lid. You can see there's a sharp, thin canine teeth, canine tooth. How about the lower part? There is a retained canine kitten, kitten canine tooth. Now the lower part, you must grip very hard the 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 top part. Otherwise, it's very hard to open. And uh, to open the part, it should be do this way in the center, and then at least grip the top very firmly. Grip very firmly because if you don't grip firmly, it won't open. Yeah. We check and then we see that lower part is okay. There is no retained canine as compared to the upper part, where you can see the thin kitten canine tooth behind the permanent one. Permanent one is is uh, broader. You can see that it's broader, and um, so this is about one year old. You can see that this side also has uh, on the upper jaw the same. Canine uh, puppy, the uh, kitten canine tooth, which didn't drop off, whereas the lower one has dropped off. So the lower one uh, is okay. So the treatment again is under anesthetic to extract the two retained kitten canine teeth. Okay. So after this, now we look at the ears. 
has what causes a fever is most likely is due to infection of the ears. You can see the cat has been scratching and inside is very dirty as well. It's probably ear mites deep in. I've given the anti mite injection yesterday and uh, today we will give again. And also this cat is a bit, uh, uh, we check the right ear, you can see the crustiness. It could be scabies, crustiness and also ear mites inside. Now I pull out the ear and see it's very dirty. So we will do ear irrigation under sedation. And now we check whether it's dehydrated or not. Pull out the skin, you can check. Not very dehydrated. Mm. And uh, overall, this is... Uh, okay, now we go back to the the cat, the high fever, the, the, the mite again. I'll show the dermoid one more time before I show the Shih Tzu's in the computer. Of It's a very rare case. In fact, very rarely would most of us see such a case in practice. Unless maybe if they are doing breeding, doing the cat breeders. It's a very rare uh, condition found in cats. In the Shih Tzu's, it's quite common now I will go inside the room to uh, you, you, you are to see the Shih Tzu's having this problem now the Shih Tzu's these are my case case studies done in 2009 now you will see here now in this case there's a Shih Tzu with the same condition it seems to be quite common in Shih Tzu's. Now I will just enlarge this one. You can see the Shih Tzu's has similar white covering with hairs. So this is called dermoid. Now a pterygium has no hairs, but it's also it's a white mass on the cornea surface. Okay, now this is a Shih Tzu. And uh, the treatment it's called crectectomy, which means to remove remove it, which I use electro surgery, remove the layer bit by bit from the cornea, dissecting it out. So it's called crectectomy, and uh, this is the starting, and uh, you can see the continuation of it more and more has been removed slowly millimeter by millimeter using electro surgery to cut it out and uh, you can see the final final process more and more are peeled off slowly without rupturing the cornea otherwise the cat will lose the eyesight yeah. You can see, then uh, the moit has 90% already has been excised by electro incision. It's called superficial keratectomy. So we cannot remove 100% because if we go too deep, the cornea will rupture and then, of course, the owner not the eye will be, eyeball will collapse. So you need to have a good hand. And uh, you can see here, this is how it's done for this Shizu under anesthesia. Electro, incision, peeling off as much as possible. It's a treatment of Shizu. Then, uh, after that, no complaint from the owner. After that, we close up the eyelid to let it, let it heal. Yeah. It's called tassography. Tassography takes about 10 days. 
so this surgery is uh, needs time to 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 heal. But uh, some owners they want it back immediately, and uh, this is the outcome on the day nine. Day nine after the correctectomy, you can see day nine uh, the mud had been ex excised. So there's some hemorrhage. And you can see that uh, some cornea scarring, but uh, the eyeball did not rupture. That is important. Otherwise, uh, if you do 100%, then uh, the eyeball might rupture. The important thing is to remove the hair for dermoid because dermoid has hair irritating the eye, causing tearing. Now, I can see that this dog's normal, normal eye, the other eye. Eh? You can see the cornea is very smooth, transparent and clear as in the cat I showed just now. So in conclusion, this cat just open up again. You can see that uh, the dermoid, uh, see? Just put the head down a bit so that I can see the dermoid. Maybe you have to come in front, uh, you cannot open from behind. Correct, correct. So, so just to conclude, we just show the dermoid again in uh, this eye. Now my assistant will try to her best to open up and then I will zoom in as much as you can open. That is good, good, good. I'm zooming in now. And uh, so this is a very rare case of dermoid with uh, in a in a cat, it's a stray cat, and uh, to differentiate from Therygium, the Therygium has no hairs, but it's also a white covering of the cornea, causing vision loss. Now I just focus it because it's going to be a very uh, many years before I see another case as I don't do cat breeders. Now see the other eye, that's compared to the other eye. You can see it's all clear. I'm gonna turn the head towards my camera now. And this is a very nice young cat. Otherwise it'll be difficult to do videoing. Now just to document this, I can see here. Uh, focus the cornea is really clear and transparent from top to bottom round. The whole cornea is very clear and uh, there's no white uh, white covering on, on top of it okay now we see both eyes okay let's show both eyes hmm. okay now, now just turn the head a bit see the other side uh, cat in a natural state lift up the head a bit the chin up a bit so that you can focus on uh, my uh, that's how it looks like normally and then you can see tearing where both eyes are tearing but that's because this cat has ear ear infections and the owner has delayed treatment for economic reasons and uh, today we are going to sedate treat the ear infections irrigate the ears and uh, give uh, anti-fever and antibiotics and also Subcutaneous drip, the Vopiovex, the moit, and retained, she see the teeth retained uh, canine, upper canines in a young cat. I just see the top will do because the bottom is not retained. Just turn a bit to the side, side view here yeah, because I need the side view for video. Uh, okay, this is good. This is good. The other side. The cat is very patient on the other side, this side. So we see, ah, very clearly you can see there. It's lucky we have a good cat. Okay.